Welcome back to Jason Clark Rides, and today we're in Frankenmuth, Michigan. You can see the Bavarian uh, influence in all the architecture here. You know, they've really played it up uh, with uh, all of their uh, buildings. Beautiful golf course there, the Fortress, owned by Zenders. And Zenders, of course, is famous for the fried chicken dinners here in uh, Little Bavaria, Michigan. Lots of little tour shops, River Play shops there. Of course, horse-drawn carriages. <laughs> That'd be a fun way to go around this town. Flour mill and store. Sits here on the Cass River. Kids down there fishing. I bet you if you walk through that cemetery, there's some German names in there. Schulter, Schulter, Kong, Felcher. Yeah. Even the apartment buildings have the German Bavarian. Uh, look to him. Come up to a cheese store up on the left. Everybody loves to go to the cheese house. Of course, cool little boutiques. There's a wine bar here. Post there. A few summers ago, I stopped there and had a drink. Of course, the Frankenmuth Fudge Kitchen. Can't have uh, tourists and not have fudge. Historical Museum on our left. Bavarian Inn on our left, Zenders is on our right, competing uh, restaurants, some people prefer one over the other. My choice is Zenders. Little leather shop. And we're crossing the river on the Holes Brook Wooden Bridge. Bavarian Inn Lodge, Banquet Center Conference, Restaurants. Oh, beer Garden there, Entertainment Nightly. I did not know that. We will have to come back here some night for entertainment. If you're in the area of Frankenmuth, uh, always uh, stop in here. It's just a cool town. Stop for 20 minutes and go into a shop or spend the day here. You can easily spend a day in this town. If you haven't seen my Facebook fundraiser, make sure you check it out. Uh, we're raising money this summer for the Wounded Warriors Project. Make a uh, donation. We'll uh, send you a Jason Clark Rides bumper sticker. You can put it on your bike and uh, or your toolbox or whatever you have. 
I'd like to also say hey now to all of the uh, hooligans at the Hooligan Nation and uh, Ray Verbeck and Jennifer Verbeck uh, making a wonderful podcast. If you haven't had a chance to, uh, hop over to their channel uh, on YouTube. Links will be down in the uh, video description section to uh, do their website as well as for the Wounded Warrior Project. Bronner's is uh, the world's largest Christmas store. Very cool, you get to see Christmas decorations in, uh, in May. And uh, they have a nice outdoor Christmas display here. It's probably really cool at night because I'm sure they light all of this up. There's some that are all lit. But there's several entrances, big parking. I don't think you'd ever, ever have a problem getting in here. Maybe at Christmas time. All their light poles in the parking lot are decorated. What you see here on the right is a hotel at Zender Splash Village. It's a big uh, hotel and water park. It'd be a great place to bring the kids. We're gonna pull up here and take a little bit of break. Yeah, Christmas tree lights. <laughs> Old school. Very cool. Now we're riding again. I want to come over here. Show you guys something I think it's cool I just noticed. Way out here in the back of the parking lot. These big mounds of dirt. I think they went for the uh, Bavarian Alps. We got a deer. Oh, a couple deer up on the hillside there. Oh, there's one down in the valley there. A little one. Well, little fawn. Of course, the snowman. And big Christmas uh, decoration balls there. Santa. Notice, too, all the different nationalities of flags they've got flying here. They've got the Mexican flag, Canadian flag, I think Italian, of course, Germany. American flag several times. Michigan flag. Is that a Michigan? I'm not sure. Nutcrackers, trumpeting angels, snowflakes, lots of sparkly stuff. Huh. Reindeer topiary, penguins and polar bears. Cool Christmas stuff here at Bronner's. They ship worldwide, open 361 days a year. Kern Sausages. It's a staple here. We have the brewery here. The brewery is always a good place to stop too. Of course, Michigan as a whole with the craft beer industry is, uh, is huge. Almost every small town has got a craft brewery now. So if you're a beer lover, come to Michigan. You will have no shortage of trying different beers. There's Willie's Sausage Company. 
over a hundred different kinds of sausage. Beautiful turn of the century houses here. I guess a little earlier, 1880, 1890. Gorgeous. A Bavarian style house. That's the craft brewery right there. Cool old bank there on the left. It's the Vinyl Record Bank. Huh, that'd be cool if you're into the vinyl LPs. Thank you for going out on this ride with me today. And make sure you check out that Hooligan Nation uh, podcast. And uh, check out my Facebook fundraiser for the Wounded Warrior Project. Get out there and ride today. It's a great day for it. Auf Wiedersehen. Thank you.